morning. The countdown to Christmas is on in Indio. One, two, three. Happy holidays from Indio. Nice. Wow. Look at that. The city kicked off the holiday season with its annual tree lighting. People came out tonight to listen to the Christmas carolers and get an early glimpse of Santa Claus. And just down the street at Miles Avenue Park, the 30th annual Tamale Festival. That's where we find our Samantha Lomibao, who's been there throughout the day and into the evening. And Sam, so much more to this event than those fabulous tamales, right? Absolutely, Karen. There's something for everyone here. And let me tell you, this is definitely the most wonderful time of the year. I think I had five or six tamales here tonight. All amazing, by the way. And like I said, it's not just tamales. We actually will have music. There's stages over there. There's rides. And, of course, tamales, like we said, but also different kinds of food if you're willing to try anything else. And unlike years past, we're enjoying four days instead of two for the Tamale Festival that kicked off tonight. Now, from tamales to music to rides, it's definitely been a night to remember, and it's just the beginning. Tamales, tamales, come try our fresh tamales. It's a moment thousands of people have been waiting for. What do you think of them? I haven't tried them, but I hope they're bomb. The annual International Tamale Festival taking on its 30th year. <laughs> Musicians, rides, visitors, and vendors from all over the world in attendance. LLDM Tucson Tamales came all the way from Arizona, their first time at the Tamale Festival. We've been making tamales all of our life. We're here voluntarily, willingly, with all the energy and the love yeah. to get to, to help raise funds for everything that we're, we're looking forward to. Coming in all kinds of flavors, there's a tamale for everyone. Even I couldn't resist and had to get my hands on one of their beef tamales. In just a few tents down, with a bit more experience at the festival, El Picados Tamales, which took home some awards in 2021. This is the traditional, like basically the authentic taste. Rosie Ayon tells me after getting second place last year, she's definitely going for the gold this year. I want to have the best tamales I could win first place, yes. So let's see how it goes. Tamale! Just two of nearly 100 vendors, with three more days and thousands more tamales to go. so much fun even though it's winding down tonight you can see where a lot of people will be crowding around over the weekend now if you couldn't make it out tonight that's okay there will be another night market tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday tamales all day every day so be sure to come out to Indio and eat live in Indio Samantha Mebao News Channel 3